What's going on everybody? So today we're gonna go over a cheap, easy, time consuming, but easy way to fix card stocks on your Star Wars toys and your Hot Wheels. I had about six of them over there I had to do and two or three of these I had to do. And you wanna get them flat as can be before you put them in the cases so they don't bow out. For example, these, we're gonna do these. And yes, before you uh, wonder how long it takes, it is an overnight process, at least. The only videos I saw were uh, people were online with old t-shirt presses. Great idea. They're just two, three hundred bucks. I've got a $15 iron, a little bit of glass cleaner, a couple of good heavy books. Not really, it's a light book, but I'm putting more books on it and a flat surface key gotta have a flat surface so my steel motorcycle table is flat i'm not going to get no flatter than that for this purpose parchment paper is always good to use but i don't i did not bring any with me so i usually do this at the house so a, a pretty good thick just paper uh cut up paper grocery bag will work just as well and cheap iron you don't have to have fluids in it because you're not steaming it I, I'm trying to talk. Loud ass trucks. Anyway, parchment paper or a good thick cardstock because you want to put the piece of paper in between and get it temperature not super, super hot. So you want to test it. You want to be able to lay this down on this paper, do a test piece, lay this down on this paper for. 30 seconds or so, if it starts to burn, it's too hot. You just want some heat transfer. You want to make it malleable. You don't want to burn anything. Uh, my glass cleaner and my microfiber is just to clean it off. There may be a little bit of moisture left, which probably doesn't hurt uh, the process, but I would not do too much because then you'll get ink transfer and you definitely don't want that. And then once you get it good and hot and malleable, you want to stick the edges underneath the book or whatever so uh, it can stay clamped overnight. Those, the shirt presses are great because they literally clamp down and you just set it, forget it, set your temperature, leave it clamped for a day, two days, and you're done. But again, those are 300 bucks. These are three to five dollar figures currently. Hopefully they'll get to be 15, 20 dollar figures soon. Anyway, I've got about five of them over here I want to do before I get more cases to put them in. Yep. So let's uh, put you on a time lapse and you'll basically see how I do it. Here we go. Quick little time lapse of doing one. All right, so here's another one. As you saw in the time lapse, I just basically clean off the dust because you don't want to ingrain the dust into it. And then, we sandwich the bin parts, the bent pots. Take our heated up iron and just kind of let it sit for a second. You want to keep it off the edges. Try not to get too far on the plastic because you don't want to melt the glue that holds the plastic on and that'll start separating it. And just essentially iron it. Just like you're doing a, um, a pair of pants or shirt or whatever. Um, I believe this iron is a little hotter than the shirt press which is why you want to keep it moving. Keep it moving. Keep it moving and you can see it's already starting to take effect. Already starting to work. Anyway, let me go around all the edges on this one and then we will pick a spot, put it underneath the book. This one had two spots, so I used two books. Uh, this one, I think one will be fine. 
And that is essentially it. Find the best spot. You can go upside down, right side up, work the edges. Just depends on how much time and effort you want to put into it. Just like this corner. What I'm going to do, I can't find my tripod, y'all, so bear with me on the shakiness. I have to order another one. I ain't used my GoPro in quite some time. I've been using an old iPhone for my YouTube videos. But I did not see anything online on YouTube about doing this except for the shirt presses. And I'm not spending $300 on a new shirt press. For some $5 figures. Anyway, let me uh, put you back on time lapse. Here we go. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is all it is to it. So I'll let this sit overnight with weight on it. And about lunchtime tomorrow, I'll pull these up. And then if I've got the cases, I'll put them in cases. If not, I'll probably just go ahead and hang them up until I get cases. But I'll be back with you tomorrow to see how good they turned out. And then I think I'll do uh, one, two, looks like three. Four, I have four more to do. Maybe five. I'll do that one over there too. Yep, it's not quick, but it works. Um, again, because I had to do, I won't say over half of these. These were, these were really bad, but they all turned out good. And these cases these, these are star one cases they seem to run about three bucks a piece unless you buy a buttload of them then you can get them for two dollars um they put pressure on it too and they'll hold it in place like this guy he was really bad i spent some time on that one anywho be back with you in the morning see how those turn out yo 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 no i'm just kidding it's the next day everybody all right so um uh, could have got something a little heavier than these because these don't really weigh much but whatever let's see how they turn out much better not folded in 15 different spots all right how about this guy flat as can be Yep, now these are ready to be put into the cases, and the cases will keep everything straight. How about this guy? Yeah, way better. Anyway, make a long story short, that is how I do it. Until I can come up with something better. Maybe... Some finished wood that is uh, epoxied or stained or has shellac or something on it. Other pieces of metal. I don't know. So right now it works for me until I move these books. And then when I put the books up, I'll have to use something else. Flat. So basically heat it up, sandwich it flat. Heat it up, sandwich it flat, and let it sit overnight. And then put it in your cases. Anywho, thanks for watching. I'm going to do a few more. And then I'm going to order some more cases because, again, I'm out. I think I said that already. I don't know. At this point, I'm rambling. Please like and subscribe. If you want to see car stuff, check out our Bay Street Motors 912. And I've got some more packages in the mail coming soon. So we'll do a mail call. One or two. I think I've got one posted already. And we'll do um, one more soon. Maybe two more. All right. Take care.